Today, we'll talk about the new Amazon EKS extended support. First, we should recap on standard support. When Amazon EKS releases a new version of Kubernetes, we'll support it under our standard support for 14 months. This means you can use our standard AWS support channels and receive security patches. This 14 month starts when Amazon EKS releases support for a new version, which recently has been about 45 days from the upstream Kubernetes release. With extended support, you can now continue running that version for an added 12 months. So for example, with 1.24, you can run that until January of 2025. With 1.27, you can run that until July of 2025. And then 1.29, you can run that until March of 2026. Now we built extended support after listening to EKS customers. You'll now be able to upgrade on a timeline that works for you, and you can continue using a version of EKS for more than two years after it's been released. Now keep in mind that extended support comes at a cost, and you can find pricing information in the description below. Now, what exactly is supported during extended support? Well, in addition to the security patches for the Kubernetes control plane that's managed by EKS, you'll also get critical patches for these tools. Feel free to pause. There are some things that EKS extended support does not support. Uh, these include things like marketplace add-ons and some other agents and add-ons. You can see the description for a full list. You're probably wondering, do you have to do anything to take advantage of extended support? No, extended support is automatic. It begins at the end of standard support. Now, extended support is optional. And at the moment, if you don't want to use extended support, you can upgrade your cluster before that version reaches end of standard support. Now, what happens if you still don't upgrade your cluster at the end of extended support? Well, this really shouldn't happen, but if it does, we'll force upgrade you to the next version. We'd love to hear your feedback on this feature, so please drop us a comment on the GitHub issue linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.